Hey guys, welcome to the Raid Perspective Guide on how to use dominoes, an action bar add-on for the World of Warcraft. Let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to do is access dominoes, and there's three ways to do that. Backslash DOM, going to the interface, options, and then going over to add-ons, or simply right-clicking dominoes from your mini-map. Within Dominoes, you'll see that there's many options for your action bars. You can unlock your action bar buttons. You can also show the empty action bar buttons for where you want to place your abilities. You can turn on or off the binding text as well as the macro text for your spells and abilities. The real power in dominoes is moving bars where you want them though. Um, I'm going to start off by moving a couple bars that I don't really need, like a pet bar, maybe my class bar out of the way. And I'm going to disable them by middle mouse button clicking. You'll see that I'll turn from light blue to a light white color. And that will disable them so that they'll be invisible on the game screen. Each individual action bar can be controlled and manipulated in various ways. You can move all of them around independently. Um, you can control the size of the action bar, how many buttons you want per bar, up to 12. You can increase or decrease the columns, which also adjust the rows at the same, uh, rows at the same time. And you can also adjust the way that they interact with each other. I'm going to turn off sticky bars from the menu. You can see that I can put my bars through other bars. If I turn that back on, it's going to make it so my bars stick together. Um, that's kind of what I want here. I want a couple bars to go next to each other so that I can adjust them together. These kind of work like Lego blocks. They just snap right to each other. So here I'm setting up a couple bars and just putting them together. Now that I've got a couple bars in order I'm gonna throw the rest out of the way just kinda clear my workspace and as you can see I can adjust all my bars together if they're snapped together about three or four of them will move as a group. Now many classes in the game have stances or some way that they're gonna shift their abilities and they're gonna want an entirely new action bar for this. Um, there's ways to switch them by going into each individual action bar and you can drop down a menu that allows you to do things like stances or um, shift modifiers and I'm gonna do that here with this rogue I'm gonna make this seventh bar his stealth bar so that when I go into stealth it replaces my first bar and so you'll be able to see that now as I go into stealth it's gonna switch now I'm going to switch into a profile for dominoes that I made earlier just to kind of give an example of what it can look like and then I'm going to go ahead and go into the dominoes menu and adjust my bindings. Now the great thing about dominoes is you can adjust your bindings very easily by going into the bindings mode and highlighting over your buttons and then actually just pressing the button that you want to be on each individual action bar button. You can assign multiple buttons or um, you can clear all the bindings on a key and set them how you want. I like to adjust it and make it like a keyboard so that my action bar actually mimics a keyboard. I also like to throw in a modifier set so I can have those on hand as well. It makes it really easy to get muscle memory for each of your abilities. And now I want to show you a couple mods I use in combination with Domino's. Um, one is OmniCC. It shows cooldowns as you can see on the side there for each of my abilities as I click them just on the action bar button. It's really useful for keeping track of things. Another one I like to use is KG Panels. That gives me some artwork in the background. Another mod that can do that for you is Sun Viewport Art. Or if you want to make your buttons look pretty, you can check out Button Facade. Last thing I want to show you with Dominoes is the ability to save and use profiles for each of your different characters or different setups you might have. So it's very customizable. Uh, there's many things with Dominoes that I didn't 
talk about. There's lots of intricacies to it. But if you explore the mod and just play around with it, you'll find out on your own. Uh, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more raid perspective stuff that'll happen in the future.